Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John. This report is for the 19th. Well, there you have it. The uh, breakdown we saw here from uh, NBI Magenta starting to fade. We began to see it on that 50K yesterday was what we were talking about. Um, we're back to the same positive extreme fill from the S&P. Nowhere near uh, the same level from the NQ. It's all much further to go to get down to that unfilled positive extreme. And... Um, you know, this is one of those where it's just a matter of uh, seeing the leader and who's following uh, along. So for the most part, the NASDAQ has been the leader in you know, most of the up moves. Um, and then when it came to the downside, they've been a little more muted on the NQ. The S&P followed a little bit further, which is why it filled. Um, and it's a much bigger market, so it makes sense. But uh, tech has kind of still held things up. And even still, um, long way to go before it, uh, it's, a, you know, another 800 plus points and still in a negative read at this particular stage with uh, steel on the DOC here dipping below both cyan and uh, orange. So that's pretty dramatic. And you can see midterm buyers in the green here had we crossed over a couple days back there when we first started to see a little bit of the weakness. So um, again, this is just part of that back and forth that we were expecting uh, given uh, both the world conditions and expectations. So as soon as people start turning rosy, the negative side comes through, and when they get uh, too negative, the bullish side will come back through on it, and you'll get this back and forth a little bit, unless there's some significant um, break in the world news, and that will certainly cause much more pressure. And of course, economic readings definitely have an impact, and I think that oil over time is just going to continue to erode confidence and um, cause a fear, particularly here when we get to treasuries and that, when your yield uh, is still significant, if inflation is believed to be under control, this will become very popular to be in safety, getting a guaranteed uh, decent return from a treasury versus uh, you know risk appetite in the market, uh, particularly if you don't see uh, any potentials for uh, growth within you know the current range or economic conditions and uh, I think we're beginning to get closer and closer to that as the bite of higher interest rates really start to uh, cumulatively take a, a, a toll. Uh, in the past it's been more reactive where you would get a sudden slowdown when interest rates uh, rise. This has been a little bit slower simply because of the amount of uh, liquidity that existed within uh, uh, the overall uh, world economy with the amount of money that's been printed in that. And it's difficult because where else do you turn? I mean, your alternatives are gold and uh, other commodities, in this case, like Bitcoin and those as well. But they've underperformed as well simply because uh, there's still a greater return had been available in the market. Now, oil still holding in that mid-80 range. Uh, it's only going to add for, like we've talked about, uh, going into the end of year uh, additional cycle of inflation rising. Now the market is only gonna take a portional discount to that um, and will rise just to compensate for the devaluation. So there's always that factor to play in there. Euro, um, it's stuck in no man's land. Again, as oil rises, the Euro support uh, is going to erode. Uh, so that's just one of those factors. And unless oil takes a dip back down, um, it's going to be hard pressed for them to uh, drive the euro back up unless they see some significant change in U.S. policy towards uh, easing or whatever. And you can see the assault for gold has been straight up. Uh, uh, once there was that recognition and we knew that all of this dip was just a momentary thing. So it was uh, certainly an attractive uh, bottom area uh, at that point. Bitcoin. Still holding on to part of those gains that it had from before. Uh, there were obviously outliers, but certainly not uh, uh, turning around as quickly as gold. But it had already started its move long before gold uh, had its turnaround. So it's kind of evening out. But the, the real surprise of it all, I think, has been ETH unable to match Bitcoin's move and uh, kind of really showing that disparity. Uh, from our 50K, what we were looking at the other uh, day was the start of this uh, dip of the magenta below the 25, as it happened right at the peak point right there, and MBI White started to take the lead, and we had the rejection of sign. And when you get that confluence right there, it's usually pretty powerful, and it led to a move to the 0%, uh, even though it was rising, and then eventually went to the full zero from the original uh, breakup setup there, and that made for some nice uh, downdraft, easy play.
all within it. Here's what it looked like during the day. Started off soft. Once the market opened, there was a brief uh, jump to it, and that erased immediately, and then just continued to cascade lower every attempt as we got towards the 15k. And that we had these uh, MBI white uh, peaks that just uh, indicate moves back towards the zero, and that's exactly what happened as we break. Broke down in even further lows. Uh, at the end of the day, they tried to bring back up a little bit. It really wasn't enough to do anything. It's just some minor short covering to clear the day's balance. And you can see in post market here, um, actually recovered off of its lows significantly. Um, so the potential for uh, even lower on a retrace back to that uh, certainly exists. And I think that uh, it's just a question of whether or not there's. Uh, a lull from a news cycle, but any further escalation between uh, U.S., Iran, and that, and I think that, you know, once a significant ground assault uh, in Gaza starts, I think that with the whole media news cycle, uh, things get uh, pretty sketchy fast, and that, that really can start to move things, uh, both in a positive and negative direction. I mean, if people believe that things are easing off, then, uh, you know, it just provides a little bit more stability, but in fear, People are going to sell and wait on the sidelines. That's just the reality of things. It's uh, what it causes uh, from a reaction. You're going to go to safety, which will be treasuries, uh, which will only make the uh, uh, yield disparity uh, even greater. So those are the details to be looking for. As always, though, uh, if there's anything relevant, I'll pop it up there. But I think we've been pretty spot on in being able to see what the potentials are and uh, following just from that standpoint. So all good. Uh, look for me in the Skype chat. Trade well. We'll talk to you later.